Hey guys, what is going on? Today we are checking out the Fanatic Podium Advanced Paddle Module. I'm super excited to bring you guys this content today. I just received this package in the post. This is the first package of many to come, so I'm excited to make a video for you guys today. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and start opening this thing up. Oh man, look at this. That is beautiful. Check that out. That's the front of the box. That's the back of the box. This kind of uh, has the color scheme of uh, classic Lotus going on, which I, I dig that. You open this to reveal some paperwork. A piece of foam. Wow, look at that. This holds all of your carbon fiber paddles um, for GT cars and for Formula cars. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that back in the box. Then it has your components wrapped in, some paper. It comes with your connector, your two paddle mounts, and your clutch pedal. Everything feels very solid and secure. No rattles or anything. This is a podium product, so you'd expect that. And looks like just a bag of silica gel to keep everything nice and fresh. Then it also comes with some bolts, uh, presumably to mount the different types of paddles. It comes with a big and a tiny Allen wrench. Here's your tiny Allen wrench. Actually pretty high quality, glossy metal. And it also comes with the left side module. Next thing I wanna take a look at today is the carbon fiber pieces that come with it. This comes with a total of eight possible options. You can mix and match. Of course, there's a bottom and a top. Really, you can only use the bottom if you're using GT style. But the top typically apparently are for DRS and pit speed limiter. But of course, you can map them to anything you want in the game. So let's go ahead and take one out. Wow, this is, this is incredibly light. So this is the lower formula style. And this is real carbon fiber, I have been told from Fanatic. So of course it's lightweight and I'm sure that entails some other options that I don't quite know yet. There's a certain sound to this that I don't think I've ever heard really anywhere else. It's kind of like a metally plastic. It's a hybrid of both, it sounds like. Now for these gold, this is the top formula style. This is more of a Kevlar look. It's, uh, you know, golden. So those are the different paddle options. Now let's go over how to install the paddles on the module itself. All right, so now I'm gonna mount the paddle to the module itself. So you, it's, this is up to personal preference, but I'm gonna mount the GT style paddle shifter. Well, hold on, this is downshift. So we need this one, make sure this is right because I wouldn't wanna do this again. Uh, hold on. So after doing some research on the Fanatic website, I figured out that these are gonna be mounted to the wheel like this, and you pull back, and obviously your clutch paddles like this, and this is obviously downshift, so I'm gonna flip it over like this, and take these paddles, and I'm gonna look for my included screws right here, and find the screw that fits. Mm. Oh gosh, wow. Well, don't get your screws caught up on your magnets. They're actually kind of hard to get off. All right, so here's one of the screws. This is what it looks like. It fits nicely in the little carbon fiber hole. I think for me, what's gonna be most comfortable is, uh, we'll try this at first. This gives us clearance, and I want my clutch to be kind of close to the paddle, so. So using the included uh, smaller Allen wrench, just go ahead and get this finger tight and then we'll worry about the alignment and screwing it down firmly. All right, so that's about finger tight. So we're gonna get our next screw and do the exact same thing. But this time we have to line up the paddle so it'll go through smoothly. This is a bit finicky. There we go, I think I got it now. So once again, take your little Allen and screw her on in, finger tight, till we kind of get a assessment for what's going on here. Oh yeah, that's definitely magnetic. You should be able to pull back. Wow, that feels really, really good. 
And so now just kind of look at it, make sure everything is aligned properly and you're not going to do anything. Now, what I do is since this is carbon fiber and it's a, a composite, which is kind of plasticky, don't for now, I, I, don't, I don't know if these are going to back out over time, but just get them snug. Don't get them firm. Or at least that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so that that's about good right there. And so now you just want to do this to the other side and you're all set. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video, but certainly not the cue of great content to come. Over on the sim spectrum of what I've seen of these so far, just by feeling the construction of them and the unboxing experience, I give these a nine out of 10 out of duck, just because no product is perfect and there's a death by a thousand cuts for one point. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps me produce new videos just like this one for you to enjoy. All right, I'll see you guys later.